Legend Crazy back with another multiverse video and today by the uh, little open mouth fellow we have here on the front of our screen, Taz is going to be the uh, character we're going to be talking about today and what perks fit him best. And I'll be honest, I have quite, uh, compared to, you know, other characters, I have, I know I've said this with Iron Giant, I have an ex crazy expertise with him, I have a crazy expertise with Taz. I don't have him unlocked, but I played with him in the beta so much. This was back when I believe you picked a free character and I picked Taz. It was one of five characters you picked for free and I picked Taz. But let's get into the video. Oh, well, the training perks and whatnot. I want Taz. Give me Taz. Okay. Boom. That's a perfect clip right there. Stop right there. <laughs> All right, uh, it is. There we go. All right, Taz, absolute dog. I remember back in the day during beta when uh, you did a free for all. It would look like Ninjago on the map when everyone did their tornado attack. It was, it was crazy. Getting to the signature perk here, we have well rounded. You receive five percent boost to damage dealt and defense. Iron Stomach, after Taz eats a projectile, he'll burp out, or he'll burp an anvil item instead of the projectile he ate. Or, I gotta get in there. Taz allies can jump into his dog pile, giving it more damage, more knockback, longer duration, and armor. Well, since this is primarily based 1v1s, we're gonna have to knock this one out there because it relies on allies. Iron Stomach, after Taz eats a projectile, he'll burp an anvil item instead of the projectile he ate. Now, honestly, that one can be interchangeable with well-rounded because 5% boost of damage and defense is, is a nice ability if you can't find one you like. The good thing about this is the anvil does hit really well for damage and a lot of characters in the game have projectiles. So if you are able to just eat some projectiles, if you're good at doing that, that's about how Taz is doing right now with his just mouth about to eat Bugs Bunny, uh, you'll be in good shape. Alright, now getting into perk slot number one here, we have Pierce of Motivations, that's Flim Bulldog, Sturdy Dodger, Stronger Than Ever, Snowball Effect, Protective Momentum, and Press the Advantage. Now, you can't go wrong with that's Flim Bulldog when you spit out the anvil, um, you just go after them, you know, hit them, ignite them, it's not bad at all, but I do believe... <sighs> The ideal perk here is going to be Snowball Effect. Team gains a 7% damage boost against the enemy with the highest damage, and one of the ones is just whoever you're playing. And I just feel like that way is because, well, spinning out the anvil now is going to deal extra damage. Your tornado is going to do extra damage. Your sandwich up, upper attack, whatever you want to call it, does extra damage. Taz is a really good damage beast. I'm just being honest here with that, you know. Getting into the second perk slot here, we have Speed Force Assist, Troll Tactic, Last Stand, Collateral Damage, Air Walker, and Too Fast to Block. Now, standard one, you know, there would be Speed Force Assist, and you can't go wrong with this, and that's why it will be an alternative option here. The reason why I'm saying that is because I like Collateral Damage. You deal one additional damage when you knock back enemies into terrain. Now, if you're a Taz player or a Taz main, you know that if you can get your opponent in the corner with a wall and you hit the tornado, they are going to get cooked. I mean, they are going to get chicken fried, what deep, deep fried, whatever. They are going to get absolutely cooked in that corner because they're going to be bouncing off the tornado. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to be crazy. Because as long as you can get them to hit the terrain, you're dealing extra damage every time that happens. Now, like I said, it's interchangeable with speed force assist because not every map has terrains. But for the sake of this, I will be selecting this ability. Getting to the third and final perk slot, we have Pug List. Sack Electricity, Second Wind Beneath Your Wings, Clear the Air, Armor Killer, and Armor Crush. Now, I know I've been using Armor Killer a good bit, but unfortunately that really doesn't fit Taz's character here. I'm going to go with Pug List. Your melee attacks deal increased damage. Almost all of uh, Taz's attacks are melee based, so... Outside of the eating and anvil spitting, maybe one other thing, 
everything's pretty much melee base, even the spin. And his spin is his best move. So to have that increased damage along with snowball effect is just so good, it's not even comparable. Alright? So, quick. Okay, seriously? Quick recap of what running signature is going to be Iron Stomach. First slot's going to be Snowball Effect. Second slot's going to be Collateral Damage. Third slot's going to be Puggle List. Alright, and like every other video, if you guys, you know, did enjoy today's video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. And uh, if you guys do want uh, any other uh, characters to have perks on them in a video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys do main Taz or play Taz and you guys notice a better perk setup, let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video, guys. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.